I want to bring in now Congresswoman Jennifer McClellan, Democrat of Virginia, who also serves as a member of President Biden's campaign um, national um, advisory board. Congresswoman, thanks for joining us on this. We appreciate it. Can you take us inside the strategy, right? Because we first we saw the first kind of campaign kickoff event yesterday. It was where the president likes to be most right in front of union workers um, in the Philadelphia area. Would not expect um, any different with that. But again, no mention of his rivals, right? Recent in federal indictment. Take us inside the thinking of that strategy. Well, the American people are voting for a president, not necessarily against someone. And I think that President Biden is focused on what he has done as president, what Democrats have done uh, in the Congress. And uh, what we have done and what he has done is very popular. We just need to make sure that the American yes. voters know about it. So that's the strategy. So I want to read for folks what you told The New York Times. We just need to stay focused on our message and not get caught up um, in the Trump circus. Our own Jen Psaki as well, who was former press secretary for the president, saying Democrats will stay quiet, but only, quote unquote, for now, she said. Um, but then a set an aide a, uh, telling NBC News it is malpractice to let them dominate. When you hear Jen Psaki say for now, is there a point, a turning point um, in which the president does need to speak up about these um, indictments, or do you stay out of the political fray for, you know, for for this time? Well, look, this is a a legal matter that the courts will sort out whether the former president is is guilty or not. The allegations are very serious, but President Biden is focused on what he and Vice President Harris have done for the American people, what they will continue to do for the American people. And look, my own special election, which where I overperformed and broke records for special yeah. elections, um, proved that people want something to vote for. They want to know what you've done for them and what you're going to do for them. And mm -hmm. that's what we need to focus on. Well, and it's interesting because... The folks that are voting for the former president, it seems, right, um, they also don't necessarily want to hear about this indictment, despite the fact that they actually support him through it, wondering how that's going to kind of play against him as he is talking about it on the campaign trail. Tim Scott, right, saying on the morning shows today, and he's trying to be president of the United States, as you well know, we should essentially file all DOJ, fire all DOJ um, leadership. What do you make of that? Well, look, at the end of the day, the allegations against the former president are extremely serious, and the court system will sort it out whether he is guilty or innocent. He is entitled to the same uh, due process as any other criminal defendant. Um, that's separate from what we need to do going forward uh, to run this country, and a, a Department of Justice that is empowered to do its job is important. Uh, for public safety and to uphold the law of the land. We are a nation of laws, and the rule of law is critically important. And anyone running for president who indicates yeah. that they want to use the DOJ as their own political sandbox um, probably shouldn't be president. So a lot of your colleagues, and I was just speaking to, him, uh, to Leanne Caldwell from The Washington Post in the last hour, right, that Republicans um, in the House essentially are going to be going after much of the DOJ, going after the FBI as well, especially when it comes to funding, so on and so forth, and a real attack on the overall justice system. And we've seen it happen, and we know it's going to happen, and the reporting is telling us it's going to happen. What can Democrats do to protect um, the Department of Justice? I think Democrats need to uphold the rule of law. Democrats need to ensure that all of our federal agencies have the resources and the independence to do their job, whether it's the DOJ or the Department of Energy. When Republicans can't win on their ideas uh, or on their policies, then they go to the circus. And we don't need to get bogged down in their circus. We need to focus on governing. We need to focus on making sure that the American people know what we have done in governing because the Republicans have proven that they can't. Representative Jennifer McClellan, we thank you.